for Jesus. Bless the eyes and ears of the listeners. I plead the blood of Jesus on this lesson in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, some of you are asking me, what do you mean by dissect the scriptures? Okay, I'm going to go through this study with you, how exactly how I do it. Okay, all right, now I'm going to take uh, Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. This is what God showed me to do. This is dissecting the scripture. Okay, you are wor um, 411. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive honor, glory, and power. I said that backwards. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Write it down. Write it down. 411. Okay, I write a shorthand. So you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For you created all things, and by your will they exist. And were created. So what does this mean? I already prayed. I've asked the Lord to give me a knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Okay, what does this mean? Now I've wrote it down, write the scripture down. I'm going to break it down, dissect it. So you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. So this tells me what, okay, you can ask yourself a question with that. What purpose were all things created? This tells me all things were created. All things were created by God for him to receive glory, honor, and power. God created everything for him to receive glory, honor, and power. Write that out. I don't have time to write it all out. You write it out. God created all things for him to receive glory, honor, and power. Because it tells us, you created all things. By your will, they exist. And they were created. You are worthy to receive glory, honor, and power. For you created all these things. And by your will, they exist. But for you to get glory, honor, and power. Okay? So then you can take that and write down three things. In which God is... is uh, worthy to receive what's he worthy to receive he's worthy to receive glory honor and power so to me this is a sin is an inward spiritual attitude of rebellion towards god okay sin is a spiritual inward attitude of rebellion towards god and it expresses outward acts of disobedience sin is an action word y'all sin is very much an action word it shows outward expressions of rebel against god towards god and against god okay and we were all sinners in this way we were all sinners in this way and by our sins by our sinful lives we rob god of the glory that's due to him we steal that from him when we sin because he created us to receive glory, power, and honor. Not for rebellion. Okay? So, let's say this. Sin is followed by three main consequences. Write that out. Sin is followed by three main consequences. Write it out. The first one, inward spiritual death, annihilation from God. Inward spiritual death, annihilation from God. Number two, physical death of the body. Because when well, those of us that are getting caught up or resurrected, we get a new glorified body. But the sinners, their body ain't coming back. They're going to be roasting. Okay. And number three, eternal banishment. From the presence of God to a place of darkness and torment. Those are the three main consequences of your sins, y'all. Write it out. Jesus Christ came to save us from our sins. Himself being without sin. He had no sin, none. He took your sin. He took my sin. He took it. Upon himself, he felt the shame. He felt the guilt. He felt it all. And he didn't do anything to deserve it. But he did that 
So he could die in my place. He could die in your place. So that we can be forgiven and have eternal life with him. Because that's what it took for us to be able to come to him. And that's what he did. That's what he did for you. So yes, he received, He deserves our glory. He re deserves us to give him glory, honor, and power. That's what he deserves, us to give him glory, honor, and, and power. Let him work through your life. Give him honor and praise and worship. Give it to him. He deserves it. Be obedient to his word. He deserves it. He deserves that, y'all. Don't you know that? He deserves that. He deserves you to love him in every way, shape, or form. He deserves time of your day. He deserves time of your day. Somewhere in your busy day, he deserves some time in there. Time for you to pray to him. Time for you to study his word. Break the scripture apart. Dissect it. Know what it means. Listen for the voice of God to explain it to you. Listen for God. I know we come to God with a lot of prayer requests, a lot of requests, and none of us really, not many of us, let me say, don't take time to quiet ourselves and listen for what he's trying to tell us. That's very important. Matter of fact, God gave you a word on my page the other day to pray, seek him hard, and quiet yourself before him and listen for him. You'll hear him. You'll hear that loud and still voice inside of you, boom, if you listen for him. Okay, that's all I want to say. I just want to show you how to dissect the scripture. You can write down now, after you write the scripture, what does that mean to you? Write it down, what it means to you. What's that telling you? Then write down how it applies to you, specifically. What do you got to do? What's it telling you to do? You. Then write down things you need to change in your life to make your life line up with the scripture. That's how Jesus told me to do it. And that's how Jesus told me to tell you to do it. Yeah, because it, it puts, it puts a self-evaluation out there in your face. It puts God and what he wants in your face, what he expects of you. He wants to understand you mean it. And it puts a self-evaluation of your life in front of you and in front of the Holy Spirit. So you can see it, how you don't line up or where you are lining up. And that's what God told me to do. And that's what God told me to teach to you. So that's what I'm going to teach you. All right, so go do them self-evaluations. All right, I'm not sure what it's going to do here where I live. I don't know if we're going to get a blizzard tonight or what. So I'm not sure about the Zoom. Um, I might wait another couple days to go back to Zoom. Not sure. If I do, I'll just send you all out an invite at 7 p.m. Eastern time. If you don't get it, then I'm not doing it tonight. All right. All right, God bless you all. Thank those of you for what you've done. Anything else you need to know, those are asking us in the description. All right, in Jesus' name, God bless you. Go seek the Lord. If you got some time today, shut that TV off, y'all. Turn it off. Go grab your Bible because that, that's what's going to carry you into eternity. That's where you get your knowledge from, your wisdom. That's where you get it, not off TV. Go shut that off. Go spend some time with the Lord. Jesus' name, amen.